Yes. Not as busy here in Smith Falls when it comes to traffic, that's for sure. But I tell you what, it has been uh, uh, home to a lot of traffic in various different fashions over the years, no question about it. Joining us this morning, Ann Tropshire is here. She is the curator of the Railway Museum of Eastern Ontario. Hi, Ann. How are you? Hey, Kurt. Uh, Maria Fournier is here, Cultural Heritage Coordinator, Smith Falls and District Historical Society. Hi, thanks. How are you? <laughs> I'm glad we got your titles out of the way. Yes. <laughs> Listen, this is, uh, is one of my favorite towns, and I tell you why, because it's so rich in, in the history of Eastern Ontario. It has a lot to do with what happened over time mm -hmm. in the entire region. Yes. Would that be fair to say? Definitely. I mean, started way back with, uh, we had, the name came from the Loyalist spy, Thomas Smythe, who eventually uh, got the land grant for this land, but he didn't actually settle. It was actually the Ward family who started the <coughs> mills and really started this off with that mill industry right, right before the Rideau Canal was even built. Right. So uh, after the Rideau Canal was built, we ended up having a booming mill industry and different things happening. Yeah. And included with that is the Joshua Bates Mills from uh, down by the Heritage House Museum. And are they still around? Like in well, some of the mills are. Else. Actually, just across the river, we have some of the Ward's Mills still standing. And down at the Heritage House Museum, the mills are no longer standing, but the house that was built to go along with them and house some of the bunk, uh, bunk some of the house workers were also there still. And a lot of uh, the successes and the, the things that occurred in Smith Falls had a lot to do with the railway, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So as Maria mentioned, I mean, the canal was really sort of the first major transportation route into the town. Uh, the railway arrived as early as 1859. Mm -hmm. uh, it really didn't have its first boom until 1886 when CP decided to make Smith Falls a eastern division point, which right. eventually meant every every train coming through Canada would pass through Smith Falls, which is pretty amazing for that our is, little town. When you think yes. about it, and that was yeah. the main source of transportation for everybody. It was. So everybody came through Smith Falls. Everybody did, and some, some stayed and set up businesses. So initially the mills prospered from the railway, mm -hmm. but soon we got more manufacturing, so we moved from more of an agricultural mill town into a manufacturing town. And right. Frost and Wood, which I think is one of our best kept secrets, right. mm -hmm. uh, set up here and they ran for about 116 years. Uh, we had several other sort of farm implement factories. Ebenezer, here as well. Frost, yeah. and Alexander Wood. Yep. Yes. Right? Frost and Wood. Yep. So it moves from, you know, in various stages, I think, in Smith Falls, right? Mm -hmm. So you have uh, the canal, you, then you have the railway as far as transportation goes, mm -hmm. then you go from uh, an industrial sort of uh, setup, and it's been big business here in, in Smith Falls over the years of various types. Well, absolutely. I mean, again, we've got the mills, we've got the manufacturing, but I mean, even up into the 60s, I mean, everybody knows Hershey's. Yep. Um, and uh, again, the railway was really the linchpin for all of these industries. Mm -hmm. Hershey chose Smith Falls because of its location, its connection to the North American yeah. market. Matter of mm -hmm. fact, by the time the early 60s arrived, uh, all Hershey products in Canada came out of Smith Falls, right? Yep, yeah. absolutely. Every, every little yes. bit of it in the entire country. And I remember one of the first places I visited when I moved to the Ottawa area, mm -hmm. I wanted to go to the chocolate factory in Smith Falls. Mm -hmm. And it was a huge tourist draw. Yeah, right? absolutely. Mm -hmm. Still, do a lot of people still look at Smith Falls and go, oh, that's the place where the chocolate factory was or is? Or Definitely, we get that quite a bit. Uh, but we always like to say that when you come to Smith Falls and you start going around uh, the town, you almost stumble across those hidden gems of our history as exactly. well. Now, when I come to Smith Falls now, what what am I in for? What am I what am I coming here for? Because there's a lot. I know there are festivals of all kinds going on all the time. Yeah. Well, there we've really got are festivals, attractions. I mean, we've got two museums in our town, which mm -hmm. is fantastic: Heritage House Museum and the Railway Museum. Right. And we sort of bookend the town really nicely. Mm -hmm. There's a gorgeous walking path, um, which we're actually kind of part of oh, right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> right through the a, parks. This is a beautiful area just right here in the middle of town. It right? is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a gorgeous we're, town. We're amazed at uh, you know people are camping right here and, uh, mm -hmm, yeah. and enjoying themselves right on the water. Mm -hmm. The thing about uh, Smith Falls recently is you've had your ups and downs, you've had industry come and go, yet you managed to survive 
and that's uh, one of the things I like about the, the people and this town in itself. Well, that's definitely been our history all throughout the years. Yeah. I mean, when Frost and Wood closed uh, back in the 1950s, that was the major employer for the entire town, and yet we still managed to come back and do even better than and, before. And when Hershey pulled up stakes, everybody thought this is the end of Smith Falls. Not so. No, 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 no definitely not. Yeah, and you guys have grown up here, so you know what? that struggle is all about when it comes to small towns in, yeah. in this part of the world. Yeah, well, we're a determined town. We're a town that's proud of our history, yeah. our industrial heritage, and you know, and that's really what makes us unique, yeah. I think, mm -hmm. in Lanark County. I really mm -hmm. like uh, like this area and uh, some beautiful big homes and people, do people commute from here to, to Ottawa to work and so on? My dad does, but yeah. yes. <laughs> but some people do, yes. right? Well, we seem to be getting a lot more people coming from urban areas, settling yeah. here and commuting in. People I, like the small towns and they love to look at places like this. Yeah, right? absolutely. Ladies, so. thanks so much for uh, for giving us some insight into this beautiful town of yours. We appreciate it. Oh, thank no you problem. very much. Thanks. thanks. Thanks for coming by. Uh, listen, come on down, see the museums, have a little look around Smith Falls. It's a wonderful, wonderful place. It's good. Uh, we're going to be here all morning, as a matter of fact. Pancake breakfast is underway. Uh, we're going to meet some interesting people. We've got some great things going here in Smith Falls. So stick around. Hour two of CDB Morning Live.